electric in nature. So the first transistor made up of carbon nanotubes were introduced in the year 1998. So as carbon nanotube is nanoscale device, it has excellent mechanical and electrical properties. So that is the reason why you see only when you explore devices made of different materials only, you will come to a conclusion which one is good, right? So when they tried uh, fabricating FET using carbon nanotube, they found that the device is going to have excellent mechanical and electrical properties. So then they started using CNT as a potential alternative to silicon and germanium. So CNT is used to fabricate FET for a small scale transistor. But remember dimensions are in 10 power minus 9. So accordingly, it will be useful mostly in high frequency applications. So its construction is similar to MOSFET, hence it is called as carbon nanotube FET. The construction is very similar to MOSFET only, so it is called as CNT FET. So CNT is a novel molecular electronic device. MOSFET involves two electrode source and then connected by a channel. So in conventional devices, this channel is made of silicon. You know that whenever MOSFET is fabricated, you will be fabricating the thermal gate, source and drain. And between the source and drain, you will be having a channel. That channel, the current flowing through the channel is controlled by the gate voltage, right? That is what we have seen. Conventionally, the channel is made up of silicon. But here, I am going to make the channel using a CNT, carbon nanotube. See the diagram? Between the source and the drain, you are going to make the channel made up of CNT, carbon nanotubes. So you have an SiO2 substrate, silicon dioxide layer between the channel and the gate. Okay, and between the source and drain, you have a carbon nanotube. Uh, we are acting as a channel between the source and the drain. So the design was not finalized until 2002, but IBM only IBM took uh, more pains to make an optimized design, providing many improvements over the first generation CNT FET. So IBM was the company which took up the job of uh, uh, fabricating CNT FET with the perfect design used in uh, carbon nanotube field effect transistors. So uh, since CNT is similar to MOSFET, it requires three terminals, gate, source, and drain. The so gate is used to control the current which is flowing between the source and drain. All the concepts are similar to MOSFET, so it is very uneasy to understand the working. Only thing, I am going to replace the channel by carbon nanotube FET. And that CNT FET may be a single walled or multiple walled, that may be depending on your application. When the gate is on, the current is able to flow from the source and the drain through a channel. When I'm going to give some voltage to my gate to control my drain current, so I have current flowing from source towards my drain. Okay. The difference between CNT and MOSFET. So the main difference between CNT and MOSFET is the channel. You know, in conventional MOSFET, the channel is made up of silicon or germanium, but here the channel is made up of CNT, carbon nanotube. Okay, whereas in MOSFET, you see, it is made from silicon. So both the technologies, you can use P-type and N-type in carbon nanotube also. So the P-type, you know, the majority carriers are going to be holes, and N-type, it is going to be electrons. And But carbon nanotube mostly uses N-type to CNT as the contact. So whatever the MOSFET, whatever the doping you do, that is okay. But uh, CNT carbon nanotubes are going to have N-type doping only. So they are going to have N-type doping only. Potassium doped source and drain regions are used to fabricate CNT FET. So whenever you go for silicon, you can go for group 3 and group 5, except and donor level uh, impurities I can add to perform doping. But whenever I'm going to use CNT, I will be changing my dopants and I will see which atoms or molecules are going to gel well with carbon. So one such thing is going to be potassium. So I'm going to dope the source and drain regions with potassium, which is going to fabricate my CNT FET. So CNT those excellent characteristics on VAE characteristics on beside the transistor and hence MOS circuits are implemented by CNT FET and also CNT FET overcomes the constraint of MOSFET so whatever difficulties you have in fabricating MOSFET all the constraints are overcome by CNT and it shows a very excellent uh, VAE characteristics so we can see the diagram here so the v, uh, uh, VDS and ID, P-type and N-type. You see the current, it is 10 power 4. 
ID is 10 power 4. So it is kilo amperes. So huge amount of current is flowing through your device. So VDS, as you increase VDS, the drain current will increase and achieve saturation. Okay, it will increase and achieve saturation. So maybe this uh, diagram is very familiar to you because all the transistor based devices have this diagram. It is called as drain characteristic. So you are going to plot between VDS and ID at constant VGS. So for P type, you know the current will be negative because direction is opposite. For N type, it is going to be the reverse. It is going to be positive. Okay, and you can see that usually ID will be in the order of milliampere, but here you see it is 10 power 4. So it is very, very huge amount of current is going to flow through the carbon nanotube. 